Welcome wanderers of the cosmos to a journey into the unknown, the realm of rogue planets. These celestial vagabonds are planets that have been booted from their home systems, left to wander the great expanses of the cosmos alone. Unlike the planets we're familiar with, like our beloved Earth or the gaseous giant Jupiter, rogue planets don't orbit a star. Instead, they travel through the vast, cold and dark expanses of space independently, unbound by the gravitational pull of a sun. This freedom to roam, however, comes with its own set of challenges and mysteries, making rogue planets some of the most intriguing subjects in the field of astrophysics. They're unlike anything else we see in our universe, a testament to the endless variety and wonder that space holds. As we delve deeper, brace yourself to uncover the mysteries that surround these cosmic nomads. The birth and banishment of a rogue planet is a tale of cosmic drama. Let's explore the genesis of these celestial nomads and their untimely ejection from their original star systems. Rogue planets, contrary to their name, don't start out as rebels. They are born in the same cradle as their star siblings, the swirling clouds of dust and gas that give rise to stars and planets. However, their journey takes a divergent path due to the complex dynamics of their nascent star system. In the chaotic early years of a star system's life, newborn planets jostle for space. They interact with each other gravitationally, often leading to dramatic collisions or near misses. When the gravitational forces get too intense, a planet might find itself flung out of a stable orbit and ejected into the cold, dark expanse of interstellar space. This process is not as heartless as it sounds. In fact, it's a necessary part of the universe's natural order. The ejection of planets helps to stabilize the orbits of the remaining planets, allowing the star system to settle into a more orderly configuration. But what about other celestial phenomena? Can they play a role in the formation and ejection of rogue planets? The answer is a resounding yes. Supernovae, for instance, can send shockwaves rippling through a star system, disrupting orbits and catapulting planets into the void. Black holes, too, are known to be ruthless planet ejectors. Their immense gravitational pull can wrench a planet from its star's gravitational grip, hurling it into interstellar space at incredible speeds. And so, our rogue planet, once a member of a star system, finds itself alone. It's no longer tethered to a star, no longer warmed by its glow or guided by its gravity. From being a part of a celestial ballet, it has now become a solitary traveler, embarking on an endless journey through the cosmos. Rogue planets, once part of a star system, are now solitary travelers, embarking on an endless journey through the cosmos. Rogue planets, despite their solitude, possess characteristics that make them unique. These celestial bodies are not tethered to any star and roam the universe freely, which instills them with some fascinating traits that set them apart from the planets we're more accustomed to in our solar system. Firstly, let's talk about size. Rogue planets can range from being as diminutive as our moon to being twice as large as Jupiter. This vast range in size is a testament to the diverse origins of these wandering planets. Some are ejected from their parent star systems at a young age, while others form in isolation, right in the depths of interstellar space. Composition is another key characteristic of these planets. Much like planets within a solar system, rogue planets can be made up of a cocktail of elements. They can be rocky, like Earth, or gaseous, like Jupiter. However, without the warmth of a star, their surfaces could be frozen solid, with temperatures plummeting to minus 270 degrees Celsius. That's colder than anything we're used to on Earth. Now let's talk about atmospheres. While it's challenging to study the atmospheres of these distant starless planets, some scientists speculate that rogue planets could potentially retain thick atmospheres. These atmospheres could act like a blanket, trapping heat from the planet's formation and keeping it warm. These characteristics are not just intriguing, they're also enlightening. They challenge our preconceived notions of what conditions a planet needs to survive. They show us that planets don't necessarily need a star to exist. They can be solitary wanderers, surviving in the harsh conditions of interstellar space. So, rogue planets with their size, composition, and potential atmospheres are more than just celestial vagabonds. They are a testament to the diversity and adaptability of celestial bodies. These wandering worlds, in their diversity, redefine our understanding of what a planet can be. Finding a rogue planet in the vastness of space is like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. But even as daunting as it sounds, scientists have been able to develop methods to detect these elusive celestial bodies. Rogue planets, being unattached to any star system, 
don't emit their own light, making traditional observation methods ineffective. However, scientists have found ways to turn these challenges into opportunities. One such method is gravitational microlensing. This technique leverages the fact that gravity bends light. When a rogue planet passes between us and a distant star, it can act as a lens, bending and amplifying the star's light. This creates a temporary brightening effect, indicating the presence of a rogue planet. However, this method isn't without its challenges. The timing and alignment have to be just right and the brightening event can last anywhere from a few hours to a few days. It's a game of cosmic patience and precision, but when it works, it provides invaluable data about the rogue planet's mass and distance. Another method used is direct imaging. This technique is more straightforward, but requires highly advanced technology. Using powerful telescopes equipped with adaptive optics, scientists attempt to directly photograph the rogue planet. The challenge here is to differentiate the dim light of a rogue planet from the vast sea of brighter celestial objects. It's like trying to spot a firefly in a fireworks display. Both methods have their pros and cons, but together they have significantly increased our ability to detect rogue planets. Despite the odds, our quest to find these elusive wanderers continues. Each discovery expands our cosmic perspective, revealing the incredible diversity and complexity of our universe. And who knows? One day, we might even find a rogue planet with conditions just right for life, a thought that truly stirs the imagination. This encapsulates the thrilling, challenging, and rewarding journey of detecting rogue planets, a testament to human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Despite the odds, our quest to find these elusive wanderers continues, with each discovery expanding our cosmic perspective. With no star to call home, rogue planets embark on a journey like no other. These celestial nomads, set adrift in the vast cosmic sea, undertake an interstellar voyage that is as daunting as it is fascinating. Imagine a journey with no destination, a voyage through the unfathomable depths of space. That's the life of a rogue planet. Unlike their starbound siblings, these planets have been ejected from their planetary systems, set free to traverse the cosmos. Their journey is a solitary one, devoid of the warmth and light of a parent star. Yet they endure, silently drifting through the interstellar medium, the space between star systems. The challenges faced by these planets are immense. Without a parent star, they lack the gravitational anchor that keeps most planets in check. This means they're susceptible to the gravitational whims of passing celestial bodies, which can alter their course or propel them through space at incredible speeds. Furthermore, rogue planets are constantly bombarded by cosmic rays, highly energetic particles that can significantly affect their composition and potential atmospheres. The lack of a stellar wind, a stream of charged particles from a nearby star, leaves these planets exposed to the full force of these cosmic intruders. Yet despite these challenges, rogue planets persevere. They endure the harsh conditions of interstellar space. Their existence a testament to the resilience of celestial bodies. Their journeys may span billions of years and carry them across vast distances, but they remain undeterred. In the face of the unknown, they press on, embodying the spirit of exploration that is inherent to all of us. These planets are more than just celestial bodies. They're symbols of the wonder and awe-inspiring mystery that pervades our universe. Their relentless voyage reminds us of the vastness of space, the enormity of the cosmos, and our own small yet significant place within it. In their relentless voyage, rogue planets embody the spirit of exploration and the mystery of the unknown. Their journey, like ours, is a quest for understanding, a pursuit of knowledge, and a testament to the unyielding curiosity of the cosmos. Could these nomadic worlds harbor the greatest mystery of all? Life? Now that's a question that tickles the mind of every space enthusiast and scientist alike. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we are constantly redefining what we consider habitable conditions for life. Rogue planets, despite their solitary journeys through the frigid depths of interstellar space, may not be as inhospitable as we once thought. How so, you may wonder? Well, it all comes down to a little something called geothermal heat. This is the heat that emanates from the core of a planet, a gift from its formation period when kinetic energy was converted into heat. On Earth, geothermal heat gives us wonders like hot springs and geysers. On a rogue planet, it could be the key to survival. 
Imagine, if you will, a rogue planet with a thick, insulating atmosphere, a robust magnetic field, and a molten core. This core, heated by the decay of radioactive elements, could maintain a temperature warm enough to support liquid water beneath the planet's surface. And where there's water, there's the potential for life. This isn't just wild speculation. Scientists have found life in some of the most extreme environments on Earth, from the crushing depths of the Mariana Trench to the scalding waters of hydrothermal vents. These organisms, known as extremophiles, have adapted to survive conditions once thought uninhabitable. If life can thrive here, why not on a rogue planet? But let's not get ahead of ourselves. While the possibility is exciting, it's important to remember that these are still theories. The detection of life, especially on a rogue planet, is a monumental challenge. Yet, it's a challenge that scientists are eager to meet. The possibility of life on a rogue planet, once a thought confined to science fiction, is now a scientific question waiting to be answered. So, as we gaze out into the cosmos, we're not just looking for new worlds, we're looking for new possibilities, new definitions of life, and perhaps a new understanding of our place in the universe. From their formation to the possibility of harboring life, rogue planets challenge our understanding of the cosmos. These celestial nomads born in the fiery chaos of stellar nurseries are ejected from their home systems, sent adrift into the vast expanse of interstellar space. Unlike their siblings that remain in orbit around parent stars, rogue planets are solitary wanderers, journeying through the cosmos without a fixed path. The journey of a rogue planet is a testament to the dynamic nature of our universe. Stripped from their birthplaces by gravitational upheaval, these planets embark on a solitary voyage through the cosmos. Their characteristics, from size to potential atmospheres, differ vastly from those of planets nestled within the warm embrace of a star. They are the mavericks of the cosmic seas, sailing without a compass, guided solely by the forces of gravity. Yet, despite their solitary existence, rogue planets are not invisible to our gaze. Scientists employ innovative methods like gravitational microlensing and direct imaging to detect these elusive wanderers. Each detection is a victory, a small piece of the cosmic puzzle falling into place, furthering our understanding of the universe. The study of rogue planets also raises fascinating questions about the concept of habitability. Without the life-giving warmth of a star, could these lone wanderers harbor life in unconventional environments? Could life as we know it adapt to such extreme conditions, or might we need to redefine our understanding of what constitutes a habitable world? Moreover, the exploration of rogue planets extends beyond their solitary existence. Their interactions with other celestial bodies, the potential for collision events, and their role within the cosmic architecture provide intriguing avenues for future research. Rogue planets, the wandering worlds, remind us of the infinite mysteries the universe holds, waiting to be discovered. They challenge our perceptions, push the boundaries of our knowledge, and invite us to question, explore, and understand the cosmos in all its grandeur. In the end, the journey of a rogue planet is not just a celestial voyage, but a journey of discovery, taking us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. As we conclude our journey, let us ponder on the mysteries and marvels of these solitary travelers. These rogue planets, unbound by the gravitational pull of a star, drift through the interstellar medium, embodying the very essence of solitude. Yet, they hold a significance that extends far beyond their isolated existence. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, these celestial nomads challenge our traditional understanding of planetary systems. They defy the notion that a planet's identity is solely defined by its parent star. Instead, they suggest a broader, more inclusive definition of what a planet can be, one that accommodates the unexpected, the unconventional, and the unbounded. Their existence prompts us to question the established norms, to rethink our assumptions, and to expand our horizons. They remind us that the universe is not just a collection of stars and galaxies, but also a vast expanse filled with wandering celestial bodies, each with its own unique story to tell. The study of rogue planets also opens up new avenues for research in astrophysics and planetary science. Their unique characteristics and behaviors offer invaluable insights into the processes of planet formation and ejection, the dynamics of gravitational interactions, and the potential for life in unconventional environments. Moreover, the potential interactions of rogue planets with other celestial bodies, such as stars or black holes, 
present fascinating theoretical scenarios that can significantly advance our understanding of cosmic dynamics. The possibility of future observations and research initiatives focused on these solitary travelers holds great promise for the progress of astronomical science. But perhaps the most profound impact of rogue planets lies in their ability to shift our perspective. They encourage us to adopt a more holistic view of the universe, one that acknowledges and appreciates the diversity of celestial phenomena. They inspire us to contemplate the vastness of the cosmos, the complexity of its structures, and the interconnectedness of its constituents. Remember, in the grand theater of the cosmos, even a solitary rogue planet plays a part. Until next time, keep looking up.